All right, boys, it's time to start the simulation for Season 2, the New Jersey Devils. We've completely retooled the Devils. We look completely different, but we look better, I think. A lot younger now, absolutely. Before we start the simulation, because I didn't do it in the last video, I'm going to just uh, do the best lines for our Albany Devils. we got to get make sure all of our young guys are on the first line. See how Solani's on the first line? Put him down there. Palmieri, uh, Henrik. Jansen, Wiseman, Mills, Gianta, Barube, Anderson, Cicito. Is there anybody who's on the bench who we want to make sure is playing? No, we're good. Ollie and Gardner first. That's good. These guys are going to be the first liners. They're going to get tons of ice time. Same with the power play. They're on the uh, power play there. That's good. Again, first. Yeah. Uh, no, I'm going to have them on the penalty kill as well. These guys are going to learn how to do everything. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Okay, that's that. We've already added the lines for the uh, NHL team, the New Jersey Devils. So let's, what else is there to do? Let us do the scouting report. Send our, our draft guy out. Where should we send him to? What place has a lot of good, ooh, that guy is 888. Eight, eight. Oh, no, never mind. Top fives. And the WHL, Western Hockey League. Still need forwards. We don't really need goalies or defensemen unless they're franchise goalies, but I'll see that. You can't miss if it's a franchise player. Uh, forward, so we're going to send them in the WHL for six weeks. Update, there we go. All right, so we are ready to simulate, boys. Start it up. All right, so we want Laner to play as many games as we possibly can, so there's no point in stopping. So let's just go all the way to... At the, uh, what's it called? The All-Star All -Star Draft. Not the All-Star Draft. The All-Star Game. Mark Frazier. Oh, he decided to accept my qualifying offer. Good for, good for you, buddy. Oh, my God. Ugh. But now he's going to be sitting on the bench because he took forever. Whatever. Blah, blah, blah. Okay, so what have we done here so far? We've taken an old team, the New Jersey Devils. We've retooled them. We haven't really got any superstars anywhere yet. We've got young guys who maybe will become superstars in 10 years. But because we only have a five-year plan, we've more got our depth players. They'll be good enough to be our third liners, right, when we have a superstar team. So I want you guys to start thinking about this because I do read the comments for the GM mode commentaries. And uh, we need a right winger, first liner. We need a first line center. I know Zajac is good, but in my perfect – in my – in the best scenario, Zajac's not going to get much better than he is. So I would love to have a 90 overall or better center and have Zajac as a second line center and then Joe Colburn as the third line and Josephson as the fourth line. Okay, that's my that's my best scenario. So we're really looking for a first line center, okay? Uh, first line right winger as well. I mean, Doan and, and Solani are all nice and Hayduke are all nice right now, but they're going to retire or I'm going to trade them if we keep... Look at this, three and five. If we keep this up, I'm going to have to trade them. Hang on, scouting assignment. Uh, we'll send them back in the WHL just to make sure we get enough. There's no point in just sending them there just for a little bit. Uh, what was I saying? Yeah, so the center, the right wing we need. Um, left wing, we're good. The more and more I look at Kovalchuk, the more and more I want to keep him. But what did I say? If the trade value goes up, I'm going to put him on the trading block and see what comes in. And if a team comes at me with a player that I want and they also have another player who's on their team, I might add him to the deal and try and wheel and deal it. So, um, left winger, we also have, a, a Felino who's a left winger, so he's on the third line left wing for us there. Man, we're 4-9-1. I think it's our goaltending that's really hurting us, but that's okay. Um, what's it called? Defense, we are perfectly fine for. We don't need any defense. I've, that's what we really took care of in the first year there. Uh, Zalweski for a fourth and a seventh. Uh... Who is this El Whiskey guy? If he's nothing, yeah, I'll do it. 26 years old. CCC, yeah, I'll do it. I don't want to use this guy. Fourth and a seventh? Yeah, why not? Roster moves? What? I could edit the lines for the uh, AHL team, probably. Yep, best lines. All right. All right, so defense, as I say, we're good for. I can maybe pick up a superstar goalie, but I'm not going to trade for him. I'm going to get him by free agency. I want to use Laner. So I'm going to use Laner over and over again to get him as much experience as he can get. 
Because I already saw him. He's like lower than, I guarantee you, after this simulation. He was an 80. He'll already be an 81 or an 82. And that's before even the uh, season switchover boost. So don't worry. We're good. We're 8 and 13. Okay, we're okay. We're okay. Ilya Kovalchuk still having a good season. You know, if we do bad, we can have another great dra uh, draft pick. Maybe we can trade it away this time because, unless it's a franchise guy, Yakupov was good because five years is enough for him to get better. But four years now, that might not be enough for these guys. So we can trade all these. Oh, oh man, we're coming back. Here we go, 11 and 15. Not bad. Now it's December 1st. Restricted free agents. That's okay. We're good. Um, I could use maybe a... Uh, I'm trying to think. We have Clarkson and Jansen, but maybe a more sustained third-line right winger, possibly. But the first-line center and the first-line right wing, that's really what I'm looking for. Ugh. That's really what we're looking for here. And maybe that second-line defenseman to replace Ballard. But Lyles is nice, so I, I'm, I'm not too sure about that yet. I'm not too sure. Uh, forwards. Let's see if there's anybody else. Now let's keep him in the WHL so I can distinguish between those two top fives. See if uh, I can get, if I do have a good draft pick. I mean, we're actually coming back here, 13 and 15. That's good. Come on now. <clears throat> if we're not a playoff team or if we're not even close to a playoff team, I'm trading Doan, Solani. I didn't put Solani on the trading block yet because I'll, I'll keep him to the trade deadline. He gets more value towards... Closer to the deadline. You can distinguish the teams that really want him. The teams that just, um, yeah, okay, we'll grab him. You got to trade him to the team that really wants him. That's why a bunch of our trades, even though a lot of you guys said that they weren't the greatest trades, if you just break them down trade value-wise, they were very close. Very close. But the only reason they were accepted was because the players that I traded to Ottawa and Toronto. Toronto and Ottawa both really won those players. Ottawa really wanted that veteran winger, and Toronto really wanted that veteran goalie. So that helps it. That always helps it. I didn't pick Leaf players just because I wanted Leaf players. Remember, I searched for Brodeur, and it came up Detroit and Toronto. So that's how – and then I searched in Toronto, and I saw. Uh, Antoine Vermette for a first, and David Clarkson. No, thank you. He's not that first-line center. He would be behind uh, Zajac, so there's no point. Give Colburn some uh, ice time out there. I like that second line center. He's going to get plenty of ice time. It's good for him. Get him developed. There we go. Keep winning. Keep winning. Man, we're actually 21, 16, and 4. That's pretty good. Yeah, man, that's pretty good. But is it is it false? Like, it's not pretty good. It's pretty good for us. I, I honestly thought to myself it was going to be another bad season. Just because our goaltending is only 80 overall. I mean, when it comes to simulation, it doesn't simulate on the potential. Sim simulates on the current overall, so. Uh, one more time in the WHL. Because I need forwards, so it looked like those two guys were nice. Uh, Payette in a fourth for Ollie. No way, Jose. Ollie is part of our franchise. Man, 23 and 22. We broke the 500 mark. That's what you need to do if you're going to make the playoffs. Wins and losses added up. You got to break the 500 mark. You got to no more than 41 losses. 40 losses, actually. If you go 42 and 40, you won't make the playoffs. Come on. Oh, man, look at these wins. I don't believe this. Shane Doan is having a great season, 23 goals, and we're only starting February, all-star break. I don't know. What should I do? Oh, my God. Are you serious? Have I have I rebuilt this team in one year? <laughs> 29, 19, and 4. Man, we're taking off now. Like we're not in the we're not a playoff team yet. Don't worry. I mean, it's still a false sense of yeah, because all all it takes is a three game losing streak and it's back down. If we can get thirty three wins before the trade deadline, I might be inclined to think we're a playoff team. Man, look at this. Yeah, come on. If we get thirty three wins, oh well, thirty two wins. If we get another win. We're a playoff. We're a playoff team, boys. We are a playoff team. I'm putting my foot down right now. We're a playoff team. 
I, I have to do something here. There's the timer going and everything. All right. All right. All right. All right. No, we're a playoff. Look at these. We're on a winning streak. All right. That's right. We lost to Sidney Crosby and Malkin. That's fine, though. Scouting assignment. Uh, okay. I think we're done for the WHL. Yeah, we can see them clearly now. They're all green everywhere. That guy's pretty good, man. 7.5 all across the board. Ness. I'll check him out later. I don't need to check him out right now. Uh, anywhere else? Let's see if there's any defensemen. I don't need defensemen, though. It's just a waste. I'm not going to draft. Let's see if there's any franchise goalies. No. Let's keep searching for forwards. Here, let's go to the QMJHL. Let's get some Frenchies. All right, uh, okay, let's keep simulating to the trade deadline. Yes, the Wednesday before the trade deadline. We're going to end this video before the trade deadline, but before the trade deadline, before this video ends, we're going to sort out everything we have to do. So I'm going into the trade deadline knowing what I'm doing. It might be another three-video trade deadline, boys. Ah, oh, loss. Come on, don't lose twice. Okay, okay, we didn't lose twice going into the deadline. That's good. Doesn't change the GM's uh, mind here, mindset. All right, so we're 35, 24, and 4. So we're 35 and 28. So six games above 500. Oh, uh, seven games above 500. Wow, Johnny, good math. Oh, man, that's 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 pretty good. It's better than I thought we were going to be. But, I mean, we were 88 overall, right, when we started it. So I, it's just our goaltending. But if we look at goals against average, uh, are we up there? No, we are not. Save percentage? No, we are not. Wins, Laner's at the top of the list, but that's only because he's starting every single game, boys. <laughs> but that's still good for him. We're getting him as much experience as we can get him. Points, are we up there? No. Uh, no, that's all right, though. Assists, are we up there? No. Goals, are we up there? No. Shane Doan is leading our team. It's not even Kovalchuk. Shane Doan. Way to go, donors. Uh, the Eastern Conference. Okay, so we are in eighth. Now, the good thing is... Fifth place is only one point ahead of us, so it's not far. And first place is only nine points ahead. So there's, it's the East is very tight. The bad thing is, well, you got two teams right below us. One team was only one point below us in the Boston Bruins and Washington. They're five points out, but that's not a lot. So, uh, yes, we're a playoff team. I think we are. We can we can make it into the playoffs, but I don't think we should sacrifice future for right now i think we should maybe add on if we can but not sacrifice too much so i think timu solani can be traded because we're not using him anyway let's go into our edit lines here if we were to make a trade boys who would we okay you can't just make a trade right you got to think who's coming off and who's going on okay um i'm thinking maybe we could for the, uh, for the playoffs, we can use Pelly down here, Colburn down here, and send Josephson back to the minors for the playoff run. I got nothing against him, but he's had his uh, full season, every game played, but he's still only 76 overall. So we could maybe get a second-line center, a nice 83, 84 overall, right? Has Zajac as the first. Kovalchuk, you don't need to change that first line of Kovalchuk and Doan. Doan is having a great season. Parise, Hayduke, you don't really need to change. Maybe we could trade Hayduke, but I'm thinking... Maybe trade Solani and Hayduke or Solani and Ponikarovsky for a second liner right wing or a second line center. That's what I'm thinking. And then leave the third line with ten, uh, Ted Colburn, Felino. Leave the fourth line with uh, Pelly, Clarkson, and Ponikarovsky. Or we'll bring up uh, we'll bring up uh, Jansen or or somebody. We have plenty of depth. We can we can bring up defense. I don't think we need to change. I think. Maybe maybe a third third line uh, defenseman, maybe an 83, 84 overall to a tough guy defenseman or def defensive defenseman, if he's available, absolutely. And then maybe uh, a, do we no we we stick with Laner we stick with Laner. We give him the playoff experience, because those playoff games you get double the experience pretty much. I'm sticking with Laner boys. What did I say? He was 80 overall to start. Now he's 81. But look at everything. Everything's the mid-80s, pretty much. It's only Poise that's bringing him down. And I don't know what Poise does. So, he's a good goalie. Hell yeah. I'm keeping him. Okay, so that's that's what we're looking for. Okay, so I'm gonna we're going to end this video. But that's what we're looking for. Uh, we're looking for... I'm going to put the guys on the trading block. We're not. I'm not going to end this video just yet. Hang on. 
Kovalchuk, Zajac, Doan. That's good. So we need maybe a second line center, a second line right winger. Uh, that's it for forward. So second line center, second line right winger, or first line center. I'll take that too. That's going to be hard to find. And a third line defenseman. Okay? And maybe maybe a goalie. But may, I'm, not, I'm not searching, searching. So if we go to trading block... Let's put the guys on the block that we don't need here. We need Ballard. We need Doan. We need Fane. Well, we don't need Fane because we're trading that third line. If we get that third line defenseman, it will replace Fane. So we can put him on the block. Uh, uh, no, we're going to keep Hayduke. Solani and... No, we'll put Hayduke because Solani and Hayduke will get me that second line or first line center. And then Ponikarowski can still be the fourth line grinder because he is a good little player. Ponikarowski. So we'll put uh, Hayduk. Solani, Fane, and Hayduk, alright? And what we're looking for, uh, we're looking for kind of youth and prospects, but prime age primarily. Veterans, sure. We can look for veterans. It doesn't matter because we're going for a cup run. We're looking for everybody. Not, not defensemen. We're not looking for defensemen. We need wingers and a center, sure. Alright. Alright, boys. So that's the end of this video. The next video and probably a couple videos after that. Trade deadline. It's going to be great. Get ready.